Welcome back everyone. What we're looking at now is the new Starship Roden Coil winding jig. Uh, it was going to be scrap metal but I salvaged this from a um, metal fabrication place. It was just an old jig that they had or some sort of test plate. Uh, the good thing about it is that each ring that has been perforated contains holes in multiples of 12 which is perfect for a starship rodent coil um, it goes from the inner ring which is roughly four inches to the outer ring which is roughly two foot in diameter um, so it's a, a nice little piece and a good unit to start our starship rodent coils on uh, so we'll be working on that and getting that up and running. This is the ferrite core from a TV set. Um, I've already got a few of these but I wanted to build it up my collection a bit. Uh, I saw that they were having a heavy trash collection about 15-20 minutes away from my house so I went back today and stripped a few TVs down. Well at least that was the goal. Um, I did achieve that and a little bit more than that but um, yeah, we s stripped down about 10 TVs took the cores out um, we also took out the um, magnet wire which is coiled around the, um, the actual vacuum tube itself and last but not least I took out all of the high voltage wire um, which comes out of the flyback transformer and into the tube um, circuitry um, always comes in handy when you need high voltage insulation so that's the three main things that I take out of TV sets um, I used to take out the flybacks and other components but I've got enough of them at the moment As you can see, I didn't stop at the TVs and I got a bit excited and brought a few other items home which were worthwhile picking up, I thought. Um, so I'll take you for a walk quickly and show you what we brought back. Uh, I've got this microwave here just to take the transformers and things out of them. Uh, we've got a couple of bug zappers. Uh, got an old blender ice crusher. Uh, we also picked up this nice Morantz CD player. Uh, if you ever get hi-fi equipment try and get the, um, the high-end stuff like the Morantz, Denon, Yamaha, Onkyo. You'll always find that there's better components in, um, in those brands than you'll find in any Sony or Akai or anything like that. I uh, also got this heating cooling unit for drinks. Um, the other pretty cool thing I found was this Chrysler Solid State Disco Tape. The fact that it co is called a Disco Tape will pretty much tell you how old this thing is. Um, on the front panel here, I've got four variable resistors. Uh, I've got it hooked up there. Uh, you can see them in there. Uh, we're going to strip this right down, but and you can see here, the first things that I can see just at a quick glance, I've got 0.1 microfarad, 160 volt caps, which I'll take out for sure. Uh, there's also, on the back panel here, you can see four transistors. These ones are just under rubber hoods, um, but we'll be taking them out. This thing here, which, is, which I saw, which is actually pretty cool, is a um, resistor which has actually been wound with some more wire on the outside of it. I've never seen one. Uh, there we go. Uh, the other thing that I saw in here was a variable 5 to 55 picofarad capacitor. Um, just a screw adjustment on the top there to adjust the capacitance. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, copper fittings in this thing uh, so we've got these little angle brackets which will be good for 
the high voltage electrode standoff and things. Um, I'll take you in here and show you a couple more. These little things here, which are just machined copper fittings um, to hold these little pulley gear systems together. Um, they'll actually come in handy later for high voltage electrodes so we'll be taking those out of there as well and even that piece of copper there copper bar will come in handy for um, some sort of bus bar or some sort of standoff or whatever um, so we'll literally strip this whole thing down and take everything that is useful out of it um, the other half of it is over here as you can see we've got a nice little transformer here don't know what the voltage in and out on that one is uh, but we've also got a whole bunch let's turn around here a whole bunch of capacitors here 16 volt 1000 microfarads uh, 35 volt 2500 microfarads uh, we've got you know, a little connector block here We've got a heavy duty fan in there. Uh, we've got a little light fitting. There's a whole bunch of useful stuff in there. A lot more um, copper fittings inside here as well, and standoffs and things. Um, you know, we've got braided earth lugs and all sorts of stuff. So we'll strip that right down and pretty much take everything we can out of it. Um, now whenever you go out for a heavy trash there's always one thing that makes it all worthwhile and this time it was this uh, universal power supply that's half of it there the other half is sitting right there and these are the rechargeable 12 volt batteries that I got out of the um, unit itself um, this is a pretty cool panel here because we've got four 450 and 400 volt capacitors, uh, 1000 UF and 1100 UF. Uh, we've got a couple of EMI filters. Try and get a good view on that. And we've also got a Looks like some sort of an induction coil, it's only got these two leads in and out. Uh, pretty big induction coil, but there's also a bridge rectifier and a bunch of earth lugs. Um, on this side panel here, we've got mains plugs which we can strip out. We've got a 9 pin sub D and a whole bunch of fittings. So we'll take all of these fittings off. They'll come in useful later on. Um, over here, on the, on the second half of this unit, as you can see, this case is actually... I don't know if you can get a good angle here, but you can see it's just cast aluminium. And it's a one-piece frame. It's because we've got this rebate here on that side and that side. I might use this as some sort of case for an experiment later on down the track. We'll just mount a panel across the top and on both ends. Maybe some sort of uh, acrylic. But the circuit board will come out and we will take the transformers out uh, and whatever parts that I feel like salvaging. Um, I think these coils are pretty cool. Looks like some sort of stranded lit's wire it's a bit big, bigger than lit's wire but um, it's I'm getting a bit closer so you can see it's all stranded and braided and then wound into a coil so these are pretty cool there's a couple of those anyway we'll take all that apart these batteries here also came out of the UPS and 12 volt rechargeable 6.5 amp hours um, at the moment uh, there's only about half a volt in, in each one of them so I don't know we'll put them on the charger and see what happens 
they don't work, they don't work. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with just scoring the main unit with all these transformers and the components and these special resistors here and these bigger ones and especially happy with this panel here with all of these um, high voltage caps and filters and things a um, couple of other things that I got was just this hobby power supply uh, I've already actually got one of these but it was um, blown I think one of the resistors was blown so I'll take this apart and see if I can swap it out uh, I also got this zoom in negative ion generator uh, power cords have been cut but we'll take it apart and see what's going on there uh, worst comes to worst we've got a little box that we can use to put something in one day later on down the track.